Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, we're about to get ready on this first episode. I want to thank all of our listeners. And I mean all of them. Everybody who listens, everybody who donates. Uh, the donations come in slowly, but it, it's weird. It's like we know who our fans are, and you, you really uh, help out with the donations because uh, this show doesn't run on fucking Jim's money. He's not giving us anything. Uh, he makes millions of dollars, but he doesn't give us any for the show. So million. million. So um, so we need you to donate because there's a lot a lot of things that cost money that uh, that make this show work, and uh, one of them is feeding that fat tummy across from me that uh, that makes sure this uh, this show goes well every week. And he does a really good job. Nobody realizes that Machete works really hard and gets to show up, especially tonight. He's gonna have to have it up by fucking midnight so you guys get it all. Um, so please go to our website, JimandEddieTalkShit.com. We're going to start giving new shit, more like different T-shirts. You might get an Hour of Power T-shirt. Uh, shout outs. We've got, um, we're going to lower the, we're going to give a shout out. Who is the guy that gave 150 bucks that begged for a shout out? We're going to give him one. Uh, we also, uh, you know, you get our DVDs. I got a new DVD coming out. You can get that. Jim, do you have a new DVD? I'm, I'm in the process of picking a theater to produce a new DVD. So we'll have new DVD, CD. So just donate the money and uh, we'll give you shit. Lots of shit. Thanks for listening. Make sure you go to our website, which is uh, JimandEddieTalkShit.com. Our Facebook is uh, Talking Shit, right? Anybody? Facebook Talking Shit. And our, uh, our email address is JimandEddie at Yahoo.com. Uh, we get a lot of comments and questions there. We're going to read a lot of questions tonight on this episode. Uh, but we don't have a guest for a reason. We need to get to the bottom of Jason's date. So listen to this. One. Here we go. Two douchebags on a couch. One's an asshole, one's a grouch. And relentless, oh, their mouths. Jim and Eddie. Talk oh, shit. Jim and Eddie. Talk oh, shit. Jim and Eddie. Okay, hello, everybody. Welcome to Talking Shit. Um, just before, I want to talk about, uh, very quickly, uh, the Come in the Bag episode. I've been getting a lot of responses for that. That seemed to be pretty popular. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Out of all, like, because people don't know, but we actually recorded that like a month and a bit ago, and we had a whole lot of stockpiled episodes because Eddie was in Australia. So we haven't really talked about that after the incidents. Have you had any feedback, Jason? Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you got Good. Good talking to you, you Jason. Gotta Thanks. You got to elaborate. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I've only had uh, no. Actually, one one douche on the fucking Twitter was mean about it to me. What and, did he say? Uh, he called me asexual. I wouldn't say you're asexual. I'm not asexual. No, I think you're gay. No, I think you're asexual. I think you're without <laughs> sexual appeal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not like you choose to be asexual. You choose to have sex. It just doesn't choose you. Oh, Hi, Eddie. How you doing? <laughs> okay, so Welcome back from Australia. How little, was your trip? Little things that we have to talk about before uh, we go on to Jason's date. Uh, go-karting day every year. Eddie didn't yes. go. I got a trophy. I won. Um, <laughs> I started in eighth position on the um, pole and, uh, and got, got in the first yeah. position within the first lap. And the sixth position guy gave you a spot and you fucked him. No, I didn't. How, I, this is what I don't understand. I said to you, if, if uh, I said, let's me and you get to the front and then we'll sort it out. Right. right? Yeah, you that's did, what you, yeah. didn't, you didn't get to the front. You have to keep me with you, though. How do I keep you with you if you can't drive? You, hold, well? you do what fucking Mario Kart over here did and just hold everybody he just up. Po- he just pointed to Michelle. Until I can squeeze through. Call him Mario Kart. Yeah, but how do I hold everybody up? <laughs> the way he did. Did you see what he did? I, I, he, 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 <laughs> called, he called Machete Mario Kart. That is true. <laughs> you, you know when you're playing Mario Kart and you see Donkey Kong has his cart and it's like, <laughs> and you're like, that cart's too small for a gorilla. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Machete, Machete was doing some pretty slow laps around. Yeah, I, I definitely was. Jason, Jason. In, in the end, they had to mesh two helmets together with a welder to fit <laughs> over his skull. And even then, it was sitting up on his shoulders slash neck. <laughs> they, uh, J- Jason asked me, or came to me afterwards, and I said, How did uh, go karting go? And he's like, uh. And I said, What happened? He goes, Jim lied to me. He tricked me. He said, I didn't he's, him. this is the way Jason said it. He goes, I Jim, did not. J- yes, you did. You said, Jim told me we were going to work together to get to the front. And then it was between I did. I worked with you him. to get to the front. And yeah. I, I thought you were going to be with me, but you were back in six. Yeah. I couldn't make you move forward to the front with me. Felt like a size 10 on my back. And what did, what did, what did you call the leap when she's go-karting? Oh, she was like a, a, a whirling, like a demon. She drives like a, like no, a she's, devil she's or something. Like, like, you know, and the like, Wicked Witch, the wicked of the witch from the West. And your little dog. Too. Yeah, fly, like rides away on its bike with the dog in the thing, like really angry. That's Lalit in the car. Lalit. There were sparks what? coming. 
coming off of her car. Wait a minute. Lolita, though, has placed every year. Every year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She uses got, the power of Satan to do it, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's because she weighs nothing. I don't know if that's a compliment. So for your birthday, Jim, I didn't go. Yeah, I know. So, it was so the you best present you could ever give me. <laughs> oh. All my... All my all my years of winning. What did I, I'm, I went from second to first to not placing. To not placing. Anyway, so if you remember back a few episodes ago, it might have been like last episode. Was it a few episodes ago? We've actually gone through with something we said we would go through. Finally, with, for the first time. That's <laughs> right. The glory hole challenge has <laughs> been done, and, and we're not going to tell you what happened because we all enjoyed it so much. We tried every hole. No, what what actually happened was we decided to get Jason a date on a web page called Name Your Price. Is it? Is that the name of the website? What's your price? Name your price? What is it? What's the proper name? What's your price? What's, What's your, your price dot com? What's your price dot com, which advertises itself as some form of dating site when it's really just escorting. You basically put into a computer, you uh, put down how much you're willing to uh, bet to go on a date with a person, and then if you have the highest bid, you get to go on the date. Where we pledged $150. I say we, but it came out of my bank balance. In the end. <laughs> I love the way that went down too. Yeah. And uh, we hooked up a date with a girl uh, for Jason. And what was her name, Jason? Uh, Dana. D Dana? Yeah. Dana. You, you spent four hours with her. I did spend four hours with her. Yeah, it was a successful date. Now, so what happened was we went to the, the, the patch. <laughs> now, if you don't know where the patch is, the patch is just a horrible bit in Venice. It's covered in garbage and homeless people. <laughs> and, Some, yeah, one of our fans said that they saw the pictures and they go I thought it was going to be a little more romantic than that no, like, no. Like, like the way I pictured it was like a classy oh, cool the, it is when the wind shop. picks up it's the, romantic. The, the thing is the thing is it was a particularly bad day on the patch it had <laughs> rained all day and washed away the actual tourists and the Mexicans were all gone and just left the homeless <laughs> and all it left was the homeless Jason and Duke. <laughs> and I have to say, you resembled the homeless that day. Oh, I was rough. And you'd you'd been out drinking with me. <laughs> yeah, the night we before. went up to the uh, that bar the the night before. Yeah, and uh, we we drank, and uh, I didn't have time to even change clothes. And you were still in clothes, and you met this girl who rocked up in a. Actually, uh, tell the backstory a little bit more. I you sat there waiting with Duke all the time while all the homeless in the area found out about you having a date. <laughs> Which I was telling them all. Yeah, yeah. I told I, every single person within a quarter mile radius that Jason was about to go on a date with a hooker. Yeah, and, <laughs> and the and the homeless, there was an air of excitement where more <laughs> more homeless people had shown up. It was like and, and guys that he knows, friends that have jobs that like come to get their cup of coffee and then go to work. They weren't going to work that day. You know when you find out something's <laughs> happening, like the OJ trial it was, or something. It was, it was the day I moved out of the house. It was my moving day. And I, uh, I had to put moving on hold. Yeah, I just, just do it. But because I, I was at the hooker date. Because who's moving your shit? Yeah, yeah. Of course, Jason, you had to put your moving on hold. Jason was mo <laughs> moving my stuff, so <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't move anything until Jason finished his hooker date. Right. So what happened was we sat there. Now, for Eddie, this is an everyday thing: watching a human, you know, soul be broken and destroyed. <laughs> I, I didn't have the bottle for it. I started. <laughs> Jim I started, started to get really and get nervous and going, no, we can't do this. This is horrible. <laughs> this girl this girl might be looking for love. This might be a real web page. Meanwhile, I'm snapping photos from every angle. <laughs> and and so Which she saw, by the way. Yeah. She saw me photographing. Yes, yeah, she yeah, said, yeah, was that she, your friend over there? Yeah, she, she told me that she saw you. Oh, we'll find out later why I know the girl. Anyway, so so Jason sat in front of the... the he, he was getting too much hassle at the front of the, the coffee store. So he moved over the road which is like not a road over the other side of the patch to in front of the sushi but store. But it looks better to be in front of a sushi shop than a coffee shop, Not if right? you're not eating sushi. <laughs> if you're just... I was if, waiting for if, her, no, maybe. No, 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 no. Not if you're just sitting there with a the dog in an outfit that you obviously wore before. Now, one of your best quality, your, your, only, your good quality is that you have nice hair. Right. That's the one thing I, you've yeah. got going for you. And that day, your hair looked like shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was horrible. And you also placed yourself like you were a mob boss. Where you were meeting with the mob in a way that you wanted to be out in the open so no one would kill you. That's, <laughs> That's he, how I always sit. It looked like a movie set, the way he had the table and chairs set up against this wall. No other, the only table and chairs within a mile, and Jason's sitting at it with this girl. I think there's a photo of that, too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 Facebook the photo's on our out. Facebook page. If you look at the photo on the Facebook page, it, 
Duke looks panicked. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I was, I started going, no, I can't do this. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. Every time that someone walked down the street, Eddie was like, that's her. That's her. <laughs> oh, I know. He kept making me get it. Oh, yeah, my yeah. chemicals. She's go coming. Up and... She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> and, and Jason and... was started sweating. And, and there's, I... there's a picture of him waiting for his date right there. <laughs> Looked like Forrest Gump. Yeah. He you looked... on. Wait, let me explain what he's wearing. Jeans I bought him. Shoes that were gifted to me that I re-gifted to him. A hoodie that was gifted to him. Yeah. A shirt that Daniel Pasco bought him. A Jim Jeffries t-shirt underneath. And you a cigarette a... and a cigarette that he bummed from someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. I was the day after the birthday, yeah. wasn't it? We all went out. That's right. It was the 15th. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't he wearing the same outfit that he wore go-karting the yeah, day yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, the day before. Isn't it well, no, at, isn't it's, it's isn't added it, a dress shirt. Isn't it wonderful that this is the day after Valentine's Day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this, this girl's whole romantic life is just really working out for her. She, she's a hooker <laughs> going on a date with someone she thinks is a hair entrepreneur, only to find out at the end he only has $4 to pay her and has to go borrow money from a friend. Uh, that was it. We paid for the date, but we weren't giving him spending money. <laughs> now, I, I was upset because the, the, uh, the Jason still had on him the talking shit credit card. And I thought, oh, oh this could still end in tears. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, he took good. her. He took her to all his places that he has. Actually, I, I, <laughs> I, I bought a pitcher of beer with it. You bought a pitcher of beer yeah. with it? Did you really? Yeah, with our credit card? That's $20. fraud. That's credit card no, fraud. No. I'm calling the police. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I am. I'm telling that you destroy money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you signed a name illegally on that guy. And you sexually assault me a lot. I saw, How have I sexually assaulted you? With you your nakedness the, and you, your penis and you, stuff. You, you raped a dog. I watched you, you jerk off a no. dog. And the audio would play back as you coaching anyway, me into it. You, anyway, you had control anyway, of my life. I didn't know what was going on. You've drifted off in the wrong direction here, Jason. So you're waiting. You did that a long you, time ago. You're waiting for your date. I'm panicking. I got to Eddie. No, I can't. I start walking down the street, and Eddie goes, She's here. <laughs> I, and I, I, I saw this Mercedes compressor yeah. drive yeah. by. And she was one of these bitches. And I'm sure she's listening. <laughs> yeah. She was one of these chicks that wanted money so bad. She was wearing the type of jewelry that says I really dig money. When I say the jewelry, like, like a Tiffany's necklace, but not a Tiffany's necklace. The one that has the big padlock that says Tiffany's on it. Like there's, <laughs> there's a picture of her right there. She, uh. She's a, she's a larger girl in real life. Oh, she's gorgeous though, dude. Can I we, thought. Can we post? Her face looks a little. Manly can we get though. in trouble? You know what she looks like? She looks we, like <laughs> she looks like the girl out of My Name Is Earl. Can we get in, in trouble? In for that's hot. Jamie, I, I like that. Jamie Press. Wait, wait. Farside's about to post it. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Can we get in trouble for posting it? I think no. Yeah, you can. You can get so fucked. Like, yeah, can we get seriously? in trouble or can the company get in trouble? The, the question's. What fucking we, attorney are you talking to we, in the room? We can't be sued because we There's just, a Jew. Talk to we, him. We, <laughs> we, we spent our picture of beer. Jew, can we, we do this? We have no money left. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy didn't care. <laughs> what are they going to do? What are they going to do to you? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have that much. I mean, what are they going to take? No, exactly. I kind of feel badly. Uh, no, I, I, yeah, I promised her we weren't going to trash her. Okay, like here, that. here, here. Side, Black out her eyes. Black out her eyes. Put her on. Black, black out the black eyes. Out her, no, black out the no, eyes. Black why, out the why, eyes. Why? Why? We're engaging her do, world. Do two and of making them. Fun okay. Of them. Okay. They're doing don't, black, don't black out her eyes. Black out the rest and just her eyes like she's got a burka on. Do two. Do burka and black out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like uh, uh, two opposite ones. <laughs> and then the smart one, Riley Trotter, yeah. will cut and paste it back together. And then just like on her picture, write something like, I was going to put jizz on her face. And then I remember she went on a date with Jason. Because it wouldn't have happened. I promised we wouldn't be mean to her. So. Oh, you did? Yes, so, I did. Yeah, but well, we, asked, we asked her to come on the show this week, and she, and she said, no. said no. We would have been nice to her. Oh, did you contact her? Yes, we yeah, did. We did. Yeah. She said no? He's yeah. been, he's been, he's been uh, texting back and forth. No, 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 oh, no. Just like she called me that night. You break a lot of promises, <laughs> Jason. And yeah. then uh, invited me to come visit her on some set. That she was working. Okay, so she was a one. This is okay. I'll get more into that because I had some private time alone with her, which will how that happened. I'll never fucking know. So, so she comes out. She struts along, chinging along with her jewelry, just walking along, and then Jason sort of panics, and they go, "Ah, oh, hey!" And mm. they go into the they go into the coffee shop. Whereupon I go in, and Jason's like, like literally going, "Yeah, I can get whatever I want here, really." <laughs> Like that. And the guy that hates you was working behind the counter that day. It wasn't even <laughs> Meredith, and you were still flashing around. 
He doesn't hate me. He loves me. He no, he doesn't. Hates you. He, he calls loves it to hate when me. you're not there. He calls it a Jason hour free. Yeah, but day. I built the bridge. It's over. A Jason free <laughs> I, day. I gave him a bunch of weed. He's my friend now. It's not that easy, I Jason. I don't know. I don't know. You don't. You're not stoners. That's why you say that. I know, but I've had lots of people take advantage of me in my life, and, and they like a, you until I, the advantage is taken over. Yeah, so. and I've had a lot of free weed, and it didn't make me like people. You don't smoke weed. I used to Anyways, be. whatever. I talk to him all the time. He doesn't hate me. I bet he does. Right. He lives next door. We're gonna go ask get him. him. All right. All right. We'll ask him. Anyway, so so you go in there. Jason's big enough that he knows the guy in the coffee shop on the patch that that's got five homeless people outside, and it's just got empty cups and pizza boxes and rain. And then I walk in. I listen to him having this conversation. I panic a little bit. Like I don't know what's gonna go on because <laughs> there's only two options in my head. What, what what might go on? The girl's just gonna like break Jason's heart and say you're a loser and walk away, or Jason's gonna rape her. There was no them getting along in my mind that yeah. could have happened. Yeah. Eddie stayed on a bit longer. What happened? <laughs> I followed them. I took like all these different <laughs> photos. I was at different angles. It was getting fun when I was taking pictures of me w in the picture with them. That's the bitch she started. <laughs> yeah, to that's what she saw. <laughs> I'm like doing thumbs up and making Eddie, faces. Eddie was doing the retarded teenager kid <laughs> behind a newscaster. <laughs> <laughs> the it's so funny because he had a show called Wingman at one point. And so anyway, I, I'm not your wingman ever. I noticed. Ever. Um, yeah, I can't wingman somebody that, that ends no, up no, no, with no. trannies. Anyway, so... Yes, so, you can. So you just don't have an open mind. So carry on. What did you do? You took some photos. Now, Jason, he left the thing. Eddie went off with his girlfriend because it was moving day. Yeah, and I then, went. I went off to move. And then how did I get word that he... Somebody saw him. Was it you, Lilith? Somebody saw him at Santino's. No, no I told you I went no, to no, Santino's. No, 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 no. I rang him up and because I needed him to move furniture for me. Anyway... We're in Santino's. We're having a great time. Now, now Santino's is a place where he's had Santino a hookup. Santino is fucking shit food. It's shit food. Jason it loves shit it. Food. It's shit. They have beer on tap. Yeah. And Jason loves it. But you had to buy the beer. No, I like the beer. Is that where you got the yeah, picture of beer? Yeah, but they don't make the beer. It's their, they're just shitty paninis. I like the food. And you think it's the most wonderful place. You like it because they give you free food. No, they don't give me free food. You were going to start a food truck with them. I did some stuff with them and parties and stuff in the past. What kind of parties? Promoted events. What kind of event did you like promote? Like Burning Man crowd type parties. Where do you Burning Man crowd type parties? At the furniture store called the Love Shack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This isn't on the resume. Let's get sidetracked for a moment. That's <laughs> because I keep on moving, motherfucker. Keep up. Wait, wait, wait. So you're throwing parties at a furniture store called the Love Shack. Yeah. Where you have a food truck from Santino's and it's Burning Man style. Wait a minute. First of all, the food truck from Santino's is only a myth. It never no, happened. No, 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 no. They have a mobile cart. I, oh, okay. Yeah, they have a... It's not um, a truck? Like when you say mobile cart, what's the difference? Like, it's like a eight like foot... A, like a rickshaw? It's an eight foot gas grill that hooks up onto it, can go on a trailer and they can drive it anywhere. And oh, so it's a trailer. It's not and a... Never, the, like we could have them it's do a, events. It's a food trailer. We could have them do events like they could pull up outside the rape cottage and right. just cook for us all. Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Will they block the alley? Well, I just get the, the, the oceanographers to let us park in their driveway. And then we'll... Uh... Can I have some jelly bellies? <laughs> can, I, can I have new friends? <laughs> Wait a minute. So, so my girlfriend's with me. I walk past Santino's about 14 times <laughs> because they're right up against the window. And they don't see me. I, I can't believe you didn't see me oh, that time. You didn't, didn't see know. me. Yeah, and, then, and then we followed you back. And uh, this is where I was starting to get a little frustrated because time. at this point we didn't know how the website worked. And we were like, is he on a date? Is he going to like, what is going on? So at a certain point I'm like, this chick likes him actually. And this is Jim and I kept going, what if it backfires? What if this girl really likes Jason? And we're like, Oh my God, like he found his soulmate. So he's walking down the street, having a good time with her and I'm following them. I, I seriously was casing them like, like you would like a, uh, you know, a cop would follow like drug dealers and it, you kind of are. So, um, so I'm following him down the street. That's how he lost his door. <laughs> it's in the past. You can't get angry. We're now. allowed to talk about You're that. Allowed to talk about and, it the time, two gotta... and the two times you did cocaine. I did cocaine two times. <laughs> yeah. And you lost your door because of a drug deal. Yeah. Do you, like, <laughs> do you like karate? Do you like karate? It's not funny when you say it anymore. Do you have venereal warts? Not today. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, so I forget where I went, and I get a phone call from Jim going, what the fuck? 
Nobody goes. <laughs> there. Wait, here. I want to. Can I jump in? Oh, no, no, no. I got a bit in between. Because I, I, I rang up Jason and I said, Jason, I need you to help move. Like I know you're on your big date. I really need your help because I want to do it before the sun goes down. And Jason goes, we're having a great time. She's a great girl. We're just having a really good laugh. We couldn't be having more fun. And he goes, we were having such a good time. I've told her everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, I forgot that part. How did I forget that part? Because I felt guilty. About what? You were giving her 150 bucks. Who cares how you Trust get to me, that? She knew what she was doing. She was taking your money. Or your friend's money. Right. So you went, when did you get to the stage when you were looking into her eyes, you were having a pint with her where you went, I'm going to just. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Jim. I have texts from him. <laughs> All right. Here, here is the text. How is the date going? No answer. And then I wrote, answer. And he wrote back, good. I said, are you still with her? Yes. Where? Santino's. Then I wrote, do you owe her money? And he wrote, no, she doesn't get any. Yeah, because at that stage, you thought the money went to this web page or to charity or something. And then he writes, or I wrote, who does? And he said, the site. And that was, at 5.45, he had written, <laughs> no, she doesn't get any. At 6.03, he writes, <laughs> oops, I'm wrong. She gets the money. <laughs> <laughs> and she drove me here to get it. Uh, no. So Jason's going, everything's going great. So I hear a bang, bang, bang on the door, right? And he goes, Jim. And because I was moving out, I didn't have any money in the house, right? And everything, all my money and stuff had already been moved. He went, Jim, I need $150. <laughs> and I went, I haven't got any money on me right now. And then Jason went, well, I haven't got any money on me. And I said, well. I, How I, much money did you have on you at the time? I think you said four dollars. Uh, like you know, like a cup, like a five or something. But here's the thing, and I said to you, you cut me into this. Now go pay for my date. Yeah, but you're the one who had the date. I didn't get anything out of it. I was just there going, well, I I I, I don't have 150 dollars so on me. Far side. How, mu how much did we pay to get the date? Didn't we have to put credits in? Yeah, you had to buy uh, time. Credits. Um, let us look at three girls. But in saying this, we've joined other web pages. We've joined Ashley Madison. We've joined Harmony. We've joined other things trying to get Jason a date. We've got to give this web page credit in the only one that actually got him a date. Yeah. So it was $50 to, to get the date. To get credits to get the date. Then and then it, 250 to get her, uh, well, her, to that's her payment. No, 150 I guess. It was 150 one yeah, day? it was one fifty. Right. It was one fifty. I apologize. So we spent two hundred total on two hundred dollars. Right. So so he goes, you got to do it, right? So now I know that she knows that me and Eddie put him up to it, and that we were playing some type of joke or something <laughs> on this woman. And then it's like, it's like, all right, well, I'll go to an ATM or something like this, right? And I go, come on. He goes, you can't. She's got a two seat car, right? <laughs> Right, so, so, she takes Jim hostage. Yeah, so, so, so Jason stands here and is like, is like, I had to get in the car with her. I went, hello, like that, right? Like now she knows that it was all just a, a, a podcast stunt, right? And I'm like, yeah, it's uh, just. Uh. And then she's like, like this, going. So Jason tells me you're quite famous. What type of things you do? I'd love to get into uh, in the entertainment business. I'd love to be a producer. Here you go. Like she just wants to get in the industry. Really fucking mad. I'm an actress, you know. I it might say that I do party events, but I don't like that. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can help you. What does this other guy do? Eddie, is he quite popular? Where, what are we going to do with that? And I'm like, look, there's the Bank of America is just up here. And then we stop at the Bank of America. I get out to get the car. And she goes, can I trust you not to run? And I'm like... <laughs> And I, I, I don't know. I didn't think of running before. <laughs> I hate it when people give you good ideas. <laughs> no, no. Jim just didn't want to run. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm he would have walked away. I'm surprised it didn't require you to like give a deposit or something like well, it that. Felt, like, it, I, I must say, it felt quite shady. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you feel like we did a crime. Just not pay the it's, girl. Uh, uh, maybe, How did we do a crime? Maybe there was another guy fifty paces behind Eddie that I, we had no idea about. I don't know. I don't think maybe we did have to pay. I bet she was meant to go into a PayPal account. I think that we that she had to pay because she saw weakness in Jason's eyes when he went, "What do I do? What do I do?" And she thought she could milk one hundred and fifty yeah, bucks. I, there, there's got to be a secure way that you pay through the website or do a deposit or the something. The guy, like the guy that owns the site, it, if the guy just, that owns the site wants to come on the podcast. Apparently, he heard our episode and he wants. Yeah, I got contact. David Newsbaum contacted me and said the guy wants to come on the website. That because he the, dislikes us. No, or? no, no. He likes us. He wants to advertise and he wants to. Uh, 
He wants to come well, on. Well, we will show. advertise his site because I will say it does work. Well, <laughs> let, let, let me let me say. Can I say this much now? Yeah. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was really cool. That's because whoa, 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 whoa. someone was paid to listen so, to you. So but I, she was intelligent, too. I she, gave it. Of course she's intelligent. She made 150 bucks. It's like somebody going to a therapist. You had a person that was paid to listen to you. So I Man, gave it. I, I gave it. So I gave it hundred. I gave her hundred and sixty actually because the machine only shoots out twenties. And she took it. Yeah, she took it. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't go. I had a good time. Did Just she drive you back? It. She drove me back. Did and then guys... Jason said goodbye to her. Like, thank you. She got out of the car and hugged me goodbye. Really? Like that. And then she went. I want to be on the podcast. I think this is a hoot. And she goes, Are you doing research for something? Because I'm always researching my projects because she's got so much going on. And uh, and then I gave her the one fifty, and to this day the podcast owes me one hundred and sixty dollars. All right, well, somebody donate one hundred and sixty dollars, please. It's direct to me because that that was that came out of my my pocket just to watch Jason for. He a probably week. just scraped it off your back in the morning, really. <laughs> 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 yeah, everyone knows what what that means. Let me explain. I sleep in a very messy environment, almost like an episode of Hoarders, and <laughs> I uh, I have coins everywhere. And often coins are stuck to my body when I wake up. And when I get into the shower, there's a definite clanging noise <laughs> as, as the cash falls off me. I thought, I thought we had a wishing well in our shower. I was like, is this an Australian thing? Do they like throw change in the bathtub to like create good luck? Because I would go in every morning and there would be change in the bathtub. And one day I just fucking broke down. I look at Jason, I go, why is there so much fucking change in the bathtub? And he goes, oh, you don't know? It sticks to Jim when he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> and when he showers, it comes off. I've he seen doesn't his, even know it's I've there. seen his cell phone stuck to him before. <laughs> <laughs> that, that did happen. <clears throat> One time I was laying down in front of Jason playing boxing and I was laying topless. And the phone stuck to my back. And I stood up and I went, where's my phone? And I had to peel it off one of my love handles. <laughs> You go go to Han Solo. I'm I'm a, what are you I'm doing? And why are individual. you so red right now? Because that's funny. Okay. <laughs> um, we have something else to bring up about Jason, though. Yeah. He's not homeless anymore. Yeah. I know he lives with an old gay man. <laughs> no, no, he's not gay. He's not gay. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has MS. It's different. Really? <laughs> Can you explain this? Can you explain MS? You can't even come explain his condition. Multiple sclerosis? Yeah, I know yeah. what MS it's like is. The, it's almost like the polar opposite of AIDS. No, I think, it, I think it's because he's a transsexual and he likes to be called Ms. You missed that. The polar opposite. You just said it's the polar opposite of AIDS. Yeah. His, his immune system is overactive. Wait a minute, it's mate. It's not the polar opposite. So can everybody please... It's not the polar Can everybody right now, our fans, just Google, Eddie If does not have MS? <laughs> Now, if they put Eddie if has MS, then it will kill the other one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason, can you please tell... See, for the last... I've been in Australia for three weeks, but I've been calling and checking on Jason because I was worried that he didn't have a place to live. And the last thing I wanted was for him to be back in my house. So I've been... Especially when there's no couch. Yeah. So, uh, so I asked Jason... Yeah, I missed the couch. Well, there, wait till you see the new one. It's going to be nice. Um, it's just going to take six weeks. Why does it take six weeks to order a couch? Did anybody know that? It's awful. But like a couch, you buy a couch, they fucking put it. You get a car the next day. Why does it take six weeks for a dumb couch? Anyways, Jason. Um, so I'm checking on him, and he's going on all these meetings. And he's like, uh, oh, I'm meeting with this guy, I'm meeting with this guy. I got this lead, I got this lead, and every one of them. Is. So he finally found a place that has, it's an apartment building where you get an apartment but it's a shared bathroom. No, no, I'm not moving into that one. <laughs> the, no, I'm not oh, moving in. in the early days. Oh, that's my, not the one I got. In the early days of my comedy career, I spent a night in many a hotel with a shared bathroom, like in England. Well, that's what he was going to live in. in. Not live. And in. I was thinking that's good for him. No, but can look, you imagine the other people that have to share a bathroom with if, him? If the bathroom, well, see, if I was there, the, the rest of the people might make a bit more money and meet <laughs> rent. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what, how did you find your place that you're living in? It was now? on Craigslist. I just emailed this guy and he got called me back. MS guy looking for Oh, no, no, no. The MS guy is my friend. I don't get this apartment until the first. So I'm staying with my friend who's got MS and right, helping and him out. And then you're moving in with the old guy. And then I'm guy. moving in with... He's not... I, I don't know if he's gay or not. Come on. Wait a minute. So now you live with the MS guy. Yeah. And you take care of him all day long. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, we're starting a podcast. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's me and an MS guy. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Called Shaky and Stony. <laughs> 
<laughs> what's, called, what's it going to be called? Called There's Two Reasons Why We Both Can't Get Out of Our Chair. <laughs> 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 called Neither One of Us Is Ever Going to Get Out of Our Chair. I don't know, man. Called, <laughs> called Within the Year It's Just Going to Be the Jason Hour Podcast. <laughs> oh. Actually, his, his dad's got MS and he's living quite on his It's not hereditary. <laughs> well, I guess maybe it's not, but ha- father and son. Bad luck. Lightning yeah. struck. Anyway, carry on. You and MS. Can he shit and come? So the two, the two, no. the two, the two of you are solving <laughs> crimes. Yeah. Neither of you can shit or come. He's interested in ninjutsu, which is interesting. Because I'm more of a Chinese kung fu guy. I, you know? I think he should be interested in walking, or a cure. Well, he's got a walker. He can use that. He's 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 a little ambulatory. So what do you do with him all day long? Um, sometimes I go get prescriptions. I make him lattes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's he needs more caffeine to. This dude's him up. got this dude's got every kind of culinary tool in his house. It's amazing. I make all kinds of cool shit in there. Like right, what? Right. Tell us some homemade cool. olive loaf bread. <laughs> um, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's as far as your brain went, wasn't it? You could make anything in the world. No, that's what went, we've done. I'm saying what we've done. Olive loaf bread. No, we've done that. We've infused uh, toast, vodka, we toast with peanut butter. No, we infused. do fondue. We, uh, we infuse. We make lattes. Peanut butter with jelly. <laughs> we you infuse inf- bolognese with spaghetti. I like how they infuse alcohol into everything. Yeah. Vodka with orange juice. Horseradish. Horse- Horseradish infused vodka is very tasty. It goes wonderfully on beef. <laughs> You guys should do a podcast. This would be really. Oh yeah, it's it's be, the retard hour. It's amazing. Re- this would be really interesting for people that like food and alcohol mixed together. Cooking, uh, cooking with an MS guy. That's gonna be. <laughs> well, when cooking's not really. Can he still know. pick up fine like implements like knives and stuff? Oh yeah, he, he's 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 all functional. right. He's dude. fully functional. He's good. Yeah. Can he walk? He can walk a little. He needs a walker all the time. He can't. He did. I'm, he did I'm, like two push-ups the other day. I'm, th- I'm thinking of calling my new DVD <laughs> Jason, fully functional. Jason, do you have him doing push-ups? He did it on his own. He wanted to show me. He was he trying to push-ups. get up, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he just fallen over. That's the reason you're in the house. I like that you let him go to the second like, one. Like, like you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. He might have done more, but Jason left. I'm off to the patch. And then, I, then when I came back, he's you pretty wanna... committed because he did another two. <laughs> You want another latte? I infused it. Yeah, yeah. I stepped over him. He was pretty cool with it. Okay, so so you then you've got uh, you're staying with MS guy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what is this a one bedroom? Yeah. And what bedroom do you sleep in? It's I sleep in the living room. He's got a futon couch. Okay. And uh, you know, and then he's got his room with his you're like, back on the ro- couch. robotic bed thing back there. All right. Mm-hmm. And does he listen to the podcast? No, he has not listened to it yet. No, because uh, yeah, his computer is very intricate. Yeah, and then so now you're know. moving out of there, and you're moving in with who? This dude that that has the opposite of and, MS. And, and, and I, and I, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, he's a fifty year old. <laughs> he's a fifty year old playwright that lives in Venice that wants Jason as a guest. I don't know. Join the dots. <laughs> Although in saying that, I'm buying a house near West Hollywood, and my mum said, "What's that area like?" I said, "Oh, it's where all the gay people." And she goes, "You're 35." You're unmarried. You're living in a gay district. People will ask questions. <laughs> we, 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 I was there. Like, that's just, like for her, it's like no one's ever watched my comedy or anything. They're going to gonna assume from that information. We just found out that your neighborhood is highly Armenian and yeah. Jewish and Russian. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Mount, Mount Olympus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you do that? Well, they're not going to figure out which fucking house it is. There's lots of houses out there. I live in Mount Olympus. Hey, have a good look. Knock on some doors. <laughs> have a Russian mobster answer. <laughs> it's, right. a, it's, it's, it's a, everywhere's like a mansion. Everywhere, everywhere's got like big doorways and stuff like that. And it's got a Russian and Armenian population. And my theory behind this is that fucking Russians, like old school Russians, they grew up in communism, right? So when they come to America and they get a house, they go... Look at my gold chair. I have a gold chair. Look at my door. It's double big. You know, like that double. He's like fucking the elite's parents. Yeah. Did, was your house, go okay, past the thing, was, Armenians have the worst taste in, in, in everything. Uh, in everything. <laughs> Just like you're always very simply Daughters. dressed. Daughters. Like you always wear black and stuff. You always look very nice, oh, right? Thank you, Tim. But your, Most are gaudy. your people. Ostentatious. N- no, I wouldn't even say that. It's cheap. tacky. Tacky. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Why is your people so tacky? And I think it costs them a lot to be that tacky. I don't think they're doing it for cheap. Yeah, no, they get the real brands mostly. Why is everything like a zebra rug with like a gold lion's head? And it, why is that? It's 
buying what they don't have. Yeah, but do you have that in you? Do you look I at don't. something? Do you look at like a couch and think leopard print that fucker up? <laughs> oh if, hell if, no! If you're hearing if you're hearing that noise right now that was just being made, Jason just opened jelly beans in the microphone. He put the microphone on his lap and then opened the jelly beans next to the Getting microphone, fatter. and now he's chewing on all his different. T- How many of those jelly beans are infused? They are. They're all the jelly beans. Actually, it's weird. I uh, I got a flavor of a couple. <laughs> he had a root beer and a coconut together. No, 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 and now no. he's invented the root beer coconut. No, 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 no. There's another one after that, Jim. Exactly. I don't know what the flavors were, but it made like an air freshener taste. It was <laughs> who, weird. Who tastes air freshener? Well, you know what the, the air freshener car smells like? Like the yellow I one? I know what it smells like. I don't know what it tastes like. Well, it tastes like whatever these things Lemon. did. I hate the smell of those air fresheners. I reckon they make your car smell worse. All right, so, so, you, so how, you, how, dis- how disgusting was your family home? <laughs> <laughs> we were broke as shit. There was like you still could brandy have. bottles everywhere. Then how much else. have you made on uh, what's the name of the website? Oh yeah, Farside. What's, what's my your price? price? Let's yeah, see how Lily's doing. Who wants an Armenian? We put the lead on what's your price, everybody, to see what bid she would get on a date. I personally think Lily's better looking than the girl that went out with Jason. Oh. so I think you'll get a good bid. Hell yeah! I'm being complimentary today. I'm being very nice to you. You are being nice. I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, let's see how Lalit's doing. Can we, we take her microphone I have three now? new offers. New offers? Let's have a look. Did we post a good picture of her, though? $100. You $11. Got- <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't accept it. Counter, counter. It is accepted, Farside. I mean, she's got to go on the date for $100. Jesus <laughs> Christ, Farside. <laughs> you, are, you are on a date. You accepted oh, that, a $100 looks- offer. Let's, let's read about this guy. He's 30 miles away. You're fine. Where Wait. does he live? I want to see that. Let's oh, oh yeah. J Dan. Oh, he yeah. lives in Beverly Hills and he's a generous male. Wait, wait, somebody he's, read it off. He's though. Middle Eastern, motherfucker. He's Middle Eastern, you know, but he's an agnostic. He's a dermatologist. Oh, God. Oh, I, I, I got some shit to get wrong. Yeah, getting good, with, getting good with him. Yeah, I need yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He'd be skin good. I, hey, can I have he a remo- skin rash that can, I think I think I got a Christmas tree rash or something in my mind. Can, can I get him to remove Jason from my house? He's interested in being a sugar daddy. Oh no, but what's his first date expectations are? Dinner, golf, and maybe a jacuzzi afterwards. <laughs> Who the fuck takes a girl, like, on golfing date? Like, unless you want to date middle-aged lesbians, like, how many young, pretty girls are going to go, oh, great. I know how to play be... golf, Lolita, if you want to learn how to swim. Do you want to come with me on the date? No, no. Far side, far side. <laughs> His income, he only Except earns up to 150000 a year. How can he be a sugar daddy if he only earns 150000 a year? He doesn't have kids. Even still, I don't have kids. I can blow that money easy. How many dates are you allowed to accept at once? It's already accepted. Hey, put a put a counter on one of your other offers, the one of eleven. Put it. Put no, a c- no, no, no. Accept, accept eleven. Eleven. Accept it. Accept He's from Venice. <laughs> He's from, is that you? Is this you? He's no, from Venice. We have just a look accepted at the eleven dollar offer. You're going on oh, a date is, for eleven. Can we look at this guy, please? Oh! There's no picture. Great. Let's oh, this better. has to be a joke. Jake He's forty-one. Black. <laughs> Oh, that is a picture then. Wait, wait, Lily, can you say that? This- oh, and you know what's awesome? <laughs> Farside, you're your genius. You just opened up all her contact information to Jay Crawl. Yeah, that's- Farside. Or I mean, a who's Lily- like a- Lily, can you say black old, again? An overweight. Black guy. He's a heavy smoker, heavy drinker, He's a- overweight. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke. His income is less than $20,000 a year. Yeah, yeah. Damn, His net worth is less than 10000 a walk on the boardwalk and maybe making a sandcastle or something. It, I thought so. I, is, is it like real? Fun. This one probably not. Let's do this. But uh, I was reading up on the rules of the site, and you can totally just not go if you don't want to. What? Don't tell us that. You... I'm sorry, I ruined the world. No, Andrew, we... stand in the corner. All right, let's put a bid against. Let's see how far we can push this other guy. The one that put fifty yeah, bucks in. Guy. Put in three hundred dollars and see if we can get him right up into the two hundred dollar mark. Because he started at fifty, he's lowballing us. We get the money. Lalit doesn't get it. I get half. You can get half. You get half. You go on the day. You can get half. She could go on the site by herself and get all of it. You guys are yeah, just but she wouldn't. It wouldn't be as fun. It wouldn't be as fun. She's right. Well, you get the uh, you get the see the difference. I just, between Lalit and I you? just really L- enjoy pimping Lalit out. I don't know why <laughs> I enjoy it. I just, just Lalit. If you go on the suit. date, if you go on the date, we are coming as pimps and collecting the money at the end. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. If it, if it, <laughs> and I'll duck under the table. If, 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 if you go, it's time to pay me and Eddie Sharp in fur coats. Yeah, I'm getting a purple tuxedo <laughs> with a top hat. Do it. I, are you going to have the cane or do this I This could be what cane? saves our podcast. What do you mean saves it? Well, money-wise. 
Yeah. He's right. Oh. We need more donations. <laughs> Where's oh, the true. money coming from? Yeah, that's true. All right, cool. And it's in cash, right? So there's no yeah, yeah, yeah. evidence. Does this guy really want to come on the show? Yeah, he does. Seems he weird. was on Howard Stern. He, well, he advertises on Howard Stern, so he's obviously got a bit of play money off this site, so he's probably doing very well for himself. Okay, make the offer, far side. Can you still counter the Middle Eastern? He probably has money. No, you no. can't counter after ex accepting. Boo. We accepted. Let's not talk about this too much more. Let's just get this done till next time. Send a message. Send a message to the Arab like. Tell the Arab that you're an infidel and uh, you just burned a Quran. <laughs> say, Let's say hey, hey, I'm excited to be going on a date with you. I'm sick of all these white pussies. <laughs> Can we attach a picture of Lolit's vagina? Yeah. Just just get a gorilla. Yeah, but put the blue waffle up. <laughs> just get a gorilla with a wound in its back. <laughs> I don't think I'm funny. All right. Um, oh, don't make me sound desperate. You're, yeah, you yeah, are yeah, desperate. You're on a web page like uh, this. We're desperate. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, a hundred bucks. All right. All right. Oh, what you should have written was, I'm so glad we're going on a date with you. I've got a skin problem. <laughs> after the, Can you make after, me wider? after the date, could you check out a few of my moles? <laughs> Skin Did you do laser hair put, removal? Put, put, Can you say that? Can you do laser hair removal? Bitch, my buddy sells his lasers. And put that that's vagina. a joke, like you're being playful with him so that he'll respond back to that one. Yep. All right. Ha ha. Do the. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry, we've taken so long. We we have a great guest. Uh, Are we gonna have a little break? No, because this is we're still in the first episode. Yeah. Uh, no, we're trying not to edit anything, but that's an edit right there. Um, uh, we have a guest on right now. Who I'm sorry, we usually get to our guest a lot quicker, but we had to get through this Jason stuff. I feel bad because we've been making him wait. Court McCowan, he's here, and um, Court, I got to tell you, thank you for coming. I appreciate oh, it. And uh, we have Farside, our intern, types up the bios of all our uh, guests, right. and he usually does a shitty job. So I'm going to read out your bio and see if he did it. I like how Court's looking at like an old man over the top of his glasses. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, all right, what do you got? It says, Court is one of the regulars on the Playboy comedy tour. Negative. He's seen more pussy than all the Mongs and Eddie combined. He can be seen on television in the year 1999 on Beverly Hills 90210. I'm sure you can find a VHS copy of it in your mom's closet. Recently, he was on an episode of the show The League on FX. Even of where you may have... Oh, enough of where you have, may have seen him. Here's where you can see him. The new comedy club in Vegas at the Paris Hotel called Empire Comedy every Thursday through Saturday night. Keep an eye on his Twitter and his Facebook. Court McCowan. Now, right, far side, yeah. that wasn't that bad. What? You had a month to practice. <laughs> why well, why didn't like you mention... They're bad. Why didn't you mention Teen Wolf? Yeah, he was I was team. going to, but he was just a... Can't buy me love. Can't buy me love. He was the dick. He was the big lead in Can't Buy Me Love. He was the one who spilt the thing on Mick Dreamy. I'm such a failure. <laughs> complete, you really are. Complete, absolute failure. What are you guys employing here? What's going on? Well, we don't employ you anything. You pay They're for all it. volunteering. A fat kid in the corner with a laptop. <laughs> What do, you, what, do you, what do you think we're employed? <laughs> look, Sitting Indian style. Look, look, there's <laughs> kids in China that have better work environments. He ran out to get me, and he literally ran like four houses. He almost keeled over. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is a, this is the furthest I've run. He goes, man, I'm from the East Coast. We don't run. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's dieting. This is yeah. helping. Is right. that, he has, were he, you thinking of that as kind of like a weight loss thing when you ran to him? Yeah. How much what, weight have you lost? 12 pounds. All right. What's, what is your weight loss? What do you do? Uh, I gained nine of it back now that my dad was in town. So you've, lo yeah, you've lost. I met his dad. So you've lost three pounds. His dad yeah. doesn't think <laughs> highly of you. I listen to the Moncast. The Moncast, you're very funny talking about your dad, but your dad does not think highly of Jason. No. Tell us what your dad. I'm a big fan of the Moncast. I only listen to my what's first your dad? Ones. What's wrong with your dad? Nothing's wrong with my dad. My dad. I love how that's what your instinct is. <laughs> what's the matter with your dad? Hey, what's he like me? Tell, yeah, what's, tell, what's tell, the matter tell with Jason you? what your dad thought. Uh, my dad met Jesse the same day. Oh yeah. And uh, we were at. Uh, uh, hmm? <laughs> Got some accountancy advice. <laughs> we were at the, um, Chelsea lately, and. Uh, we were talking because I told him that he met you. He goes, oh, man. I just, like, if your aspirations to hang out in front of a coffee shop and have a dog, yeah. like. <laughs> well, that's one up for me. I don't have a dog. <laughs> that's your aspirations. Jason's yeah, that's so my pissed. aspirations. 
Uh, well, Farside, I think you owe Corden an apology for fucking up his bio. I'm sorry I did a decent job on your bio. If, you, if he was Forget on the it. Todd Glass show, would you have had it right? No, I don't, I don't do bios on the Todd Glass show. I just sit in a chair now. Yeah. I just sit on every fucking podcast I work on now. now Cor- you, do, you do plenty of stuff for us. I did. You do? I Google. Who fired you? What, do, what else do you not do? He does a great job. He really you, you, does. You have your own podcast, really, because you have come out as the star of that podcast, haven't you? Yeah. You are the focal. <laughs> you are the, fo- the focal point. You are the show. focal point of that podcast. You have your own picture and everything. You've done very you're well the, out of this. You're the talent. The Moncast comes out on Wednesdays. Everybody on iTunes, just plugging it. You're the talent. Thank you. I like I, I, I like the Moncast song as well. Yeah, the song. Yeah, the song's great. Jason did that, and then. I like how far side. I loved it when you talked about how you are the uh, you're the MC of some film festival. Am I correct? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm hosting a 48 hour film competition. Is that a big deal? Um, it'll be fun. Okay. Uh, no. I don't know how big of a deal it is. All right. Can we get to our guests? Though? Yeah, please. More importantly, Court is uh, does the Playboy comedy show in Las Vegas, but um, he's got a lot of connections with Playboy. Court, what are the chances of getting Jason Hour into the Playboy Mansion? Not a chance in hell, dude. Never Come on. Gonna happen. We will do no. What if anything. I took a job mowing lawns and saved my money? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they only trust ah, Mexicans. Um, I don't know. Oh, Playboy I thought, see, Mansion. Bill, what, he got that. You're an, you're an idiot. <laughs> buy me love. What, yeah, oh, that was very good. Come <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But also, if you, if you save... If you mowed lawns, what you should do is try to become the lawnmower at the oh, mansion yeah. and work your way in there, and then you don't have to have money. And then you could yeah. bore all of them. Or you could do the can't buy me love thing and buy yourself a big telescope and look into it. From a or day. you could have Jim and I buy the telescope for you. Or you could just pay one of the date the girls to be your date because he <laughs> spilled some red wine on, on a on a on a mm-hmm. now, they, dress. now they do they do have this deal now where there's this company that does parties there and you can buy <laughs> tickets. But how many douches would be at that? They're all douches. Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the play all the Playboy Mansion parties now. Are basically people in. pay are pay, paid because the Playboy has no more money. Yeah, I mean Playboy's broke. No one buys the magazine. I, I have a funny. They, sto- have, they have two parties a year. That's it. I have a funny story about that. I ran into an old friend in Pittsburgh uh, who was a fraternity brother, and he's like, "I'm coming out to L.A." and I'm like, "We should hang out." He's like, "I can't. I'm going to the Playboy Mansion." And I'm like, "Oh," and he's like. I'm like, how'd you get in? He goes, oh, I paid six grand to go to this thing. I'm playing golf, and then I'm going to the mansion. But I go, none of the girls are going to be there. You're no, doing this. It's a I, skank I, I, fest. I go, you're going to this fucking. Pl- you're wasting your money. It's a scam. What are you doing? Blah blah blah. About a year later, I see him in Pittsburgh, and he's with the hottest girl I've ever seen. His fiance. They're getting married. And I'm like, oh, congratulations. Where'd you guys meet? He goes, Playboy Mansion. <laughs> wow. Really? Was she a bunny? Or? It fucking worked out. I don't see a bunny liking. Well, I suppose. See. If- I suppose the girls would go after that because they don't get paid very much to be in the magazine. And, no, and for you to exactly. be able to pay we yeah. have six one. grand means that you've got a bit of cash if you can pay six grand to go to a party. So I suppose it does work. Playboy next thing. month lives across the alley. Who? Which one? Um, the one, the UFC girl. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, What's yeah. Her name? Um, Too muscular for mine. No, she's the... Uh, Gia, I saw, I saw her. She's, on she's on the cover. She's on the cover. Yeah. Gia Carrado or yeah. whatever no, her name is? She's our neighbor. She lives right in Peter's Very place. hot, dude. Yeah, very, very hot. hot. Very, very really, hot. really hot. She's a fighter? I showed you her one day. I know. What's her name? Do you remember? May. You're like, stand on my Miss, shoulders, look Miss in the window, May. and you can see her. I think we should have her on the show. She's a neighbor. She's at one of those? Oh, a neighbor. Yeah. Oh, good. I thought you said something else. Don't want them in my house. <laughs> <laughs> or, or in our neighborhood. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> thank God I don't live around here anymore. Oh my God. Prices <laughs> of the properties going down. So, is there any way we can get Jason in there? Yeah, I can mow lawns. I mean, no, I they're mean, not I even think, looking for. I mean, I lawnmowers. think the only way to do it is how like, about is like to do like to try to figure out like maybe get him into one of those parties. I mean, it's it's like there's only like I said, there's only two parties a year. They do the Midsummer Nights party. But you know what he'd do? He would go along there and he would talk some girl out of being nude in the magazine. That's all he would do. <laughs> Like you'd actually like comfort some girl into into not being a yeah. Playboy bunny anymore. What have you got? Are you going to get up the picture of the girl that lives over the alleyway or what? Yeah, yeah. Like that, U- if, UFC. If that Playboy. wasn't a link, I don't know whatever was. UFC and oh, Playboy. He's, he's not. This no, is, no, you're this not even is, in the search. This bit is a now. train wreck. It's not going anywhere. This part. Yeah, well, Brittany Palmer. Brittany Palmer. Oh, there she Palmer. is. She's our neighbor. She lives there. Brittany Palmer. Uh, that's Rachel. No. All right, but anyway, so so let's go back. So there's two parties. What are the two parties? The two parties is Midsummer Night's Dream, the which is which, the Halloween and the Halloween one. The Halloween's, but the Midsummer Night's is a little better because it's hot outside. All the girls end up getting naked in the pool, which is good. Okay, that's the one I want Jason in the pool with them. I would love more than anything, whatever amount of money we have to pay. 
to get Jason in the pool. Yep. That's wow, her, she's it? a fighter? She's no, not a fighter. She's like a know. ring girl or something. Oh. I was like, that's amazing if she's a fighter. I can't believe you don't know her yet. She lives in the neighborhood. When'd she move in? She's been there for a couple months. Peter's been talking about her. Peter and Carl have probably set up a, a blockade right around here so she can't get that part of the neighborhood yeah, really yeah, away yeah. from me. Yeah. I like how you think that's what people do. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that's how people meet women because like what they think to themselves is, I don't want this girl anywhere near Jason because I might lose a chance with her. I'm going to set up a blockade <laughs> in case that charming devil moves over from the patch. Hey, man. You know everybody, but you only know the homeless people. If she becomes homeless, then you're in. <laughs> like if things go really, I know you, really Jim. If things go really tits up for her. I know Eddie. Yeah. What, what is that going to help you with is, her? Do you, you okay? This is what I could should, should say. How much of that date that we paid for did, did you, you talk, talk about, about us? <laughs> Literally the last ten minutes. Bullshit. You're so full of shit. Bullshit. I'm your calling card. <laughs> Uh, you're so the misled. Fact, the fact that I know you is the only reason you have places you don't not know to come. Me. Then what did you talk <laughs> you about? You can't do what I do. And what, you ain't nobody. What did sucker? What is this right, new Mr. character? Mr. T's gone out on a date. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Um, how? What, l l let me ask you a question. What did you talk about with your hooker? Well, we talked about hair color for a while, and then we talked about uh, where she was from. And hair what color. She did he just said hair color. Court. I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> not really. Not Court's really. Court's done unbelievably well with women in his life. When I was you just, did I, well. Did you ever talk about hair color? Never. No, but I, <laughs> I gotta say though, I like color? I like the what's your pricing. That was a that, that was a very interesting like. Uh, I kind of I kind of came in on the towards the end. Can of we it. can we talk? We can edit this out. Can we talk openly? You used to be a coke addict, right? Can we oh, talk, yeah. Can we talk about this? Fuck yeah! I love coke addict. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What What was your three heart attacks? Three heart, attacks, three, heart, yeah. three heart attacks by thirty-seven. By thirty-seven, that's a real, that's a real habit. That's a, yeah. That was like that's like you know you hear these blokes yeah. that sort of like say it like to be fashionable, like oh you had a bit of a coke problem, and they do it like on Fridays and Saturdays. How much were you doing at your peak? Oh, I would probably I would I would do an eight ball in about a four or five hour period. Oh, that's every day, tremendous. That was every day. That would not, kill not every, me. Not every day. Not every day. But I'd go because it kind of it kind of fucks your heart up for a couple of days. You must have been so, depressed every morning. Bro. Oh, this is the most depressing fuck. That's why I smoke like eight joints a day. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it, it would be. But I used to take a lot of Vicodin and Ambient to keep the edge off. Oh yeah, you gotta you yeah gotta, you yeah. Take, like, gotta take care of yourself. Because what I would do were is you, I were you just fearless. No, I was a fucking moron. Yeah, it's like I'd go over to my buddy's house. We'd take like four Vicodin, and then we'd start snorting coke, and yeah. then and then Is we'd he go dead? out. That guy? Is he dead? No, no, almost though, okay. almost. He went. He moved to crack, which really was that's depressing. Uh, I'd like now? to say a big hello to Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, yeah, it got bad. It got bad. Uh, it, it towards the end because like one time I think I'd been up for like four uh, days. Uh, uh, I gotta, I, I gotta ask. I like you, Court. We've known each other for a while. Yeah. We, after the first heart attack, what made you think? <laughs> well, like, like I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to go to the second one. Yeah. Or the, like the third one was obviously that. Oh, I, mean, I probably should slow down. Oh, I stopped. I didn't stop for about four months after the third one. Right. So, uh, but um, what happened? Was it like a bad headache one morning that really tipped you over the edge? It really was nothing. It was just like the last day was like you got to be fucking kidding me, you know. But I kind of I walked out. A friend of mine. There was a hooker, not a hooker, but she was a whore. You know, also, uh, yeah. oh, uh, I, I, I don't know what um, uh, a girl, yes. a girl, a girl, okay, yes. Okay. So yes. There, was a, there was a girl there, yeah. And I used to never let girls like they were in my apartment, we used to party at my apartment. We'd go, we'd come back, me and a friend of mine, and we'd pick up girls, and we'd come back, and we'd party till you know the sun came up. Mm -hmm. And and it, the usual thing, like, I Sounds never, it's awesome. I never let any girls in the bedroom, they could never go in the bedroom. So I had this That's filthy, Jason has the I had same this policy. filthy fucking futon that would come out of the closet. We'd put it down. It had stain, oil stains all over it. We'd put a nice little blanket over it, and we would, you know, fuck them on the on the futon. Right. You know, and um, and I came out like six thirty one morning, walked out, and this girl's got like a dildo sticking out of her ass, and there's like <laughs> there's <laughs> olive oil bottles because once you run out of like baby oil, you just go to the olive oil. Sure. Because, Always. You know, there's and there's like sure. how else are you gonna these... cook the dildo? Yeah. Out of this? <laughs> yeah. And there's like all these CDs with like Coke residue on it, Jack Daniels and vodka bottles everywhere. And my mm. buddy comes around the corner, he's got oil in his hair, and he's like, dude, we need some more cocaine. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, all right, this is, you get the fuck out. Take that fucking skank and get the fuck out. And, uh, and, I, I, and that was about it. That was the last one.
Jason, right. um, I still don't see that being as bad as a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, is. Yeah. how many no. times have you tried cocaine now? Two. Oh, two. shit. I've done it with you more than two times. And three. <laughs> that would be it. Like, but, now, it's only, but now do you, you've done your share. Right? I've done my share of drugs. I've never... I, I, I've never uh, alcohol is the biggest problem I've got. How do you do an? Like, like, I've never I've never had an addiction to drugs ever. I've been able to give or take drugs. Wait, wait, drugs. an eight ball in four to five hours. Yeah. How much is an eight ball? That's a lot. Three and a half grams. Three it's and not half that grams. much. That, it's we we'll see. Okay, I've never taken more than a gram in a whole day. Right. Right. That would be like a big day out for me to take a whole gram, and then normally me and my friend would split a gram if we were going on a, a bit of booze after a show or something. But to take an eight ball, that's. Uh, Oh, every every day or five days a week. That's what they call heart stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Three, it never to really the thir- it to never, the third power. It never really stopped. The last one was the one, the only one that was really bad. And I was when I, you have a heart attack. I'd say that's about. I'd say that's forty lines of coke. Describe the heart attack. Describe it. I was in Vegas at the Hard Rock Hotel, mm. and I and I was and I'd been up for like three, maybe four days, and I went to take a shit. Why I don't know. I hadn't eaten in four fucking days. But sure. I just you know. Coke makes you a little constipated. They sometimes and, put baby laxative in it. As yeah, well. yeah, it has an isotol in it. Yeah. So yeah, and and so I went to take a shit. I'm sitting with my with my fucking underwear around my ankles, and I'm sitting there and I'm trying to push out a rock hard turd. This is how Elvis died. Yeah, ex- exactly. And uh, <laughs> and I ended up sitting there, and all of a sudden I just started feeling these really bad heart palpitations. I started sweating profusely, and I lost all the feeling in the left side of my body. Mm. And it, my heart was just beating, coke. yeah, beating out of my fucking chest. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I, the thing I thought is I'm not famous enough to die on a shitter. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, so I literally crawled off the fucking toilet <laughs> and, crawled, and sat on the sink and no, took a shit. Crawled into the bedroom, crawled up on the bed and literally like it looked like a fucking guy with MS, you know, and, and I literally crawled up, laid on the bed and I laid there for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And we were going to call the, the doctor at the hotel, but we had so much cocaine in the room sure. that it was like that was jail for yeah, sure. You didn't want him to use it. Well, we didn't want to waste it in case I didn't die. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and so I laid there like two hours, finally got all the feeling back, started breathing normally, you know, whatever. And I literally, I did about, I got up, did like three lines and went out that night and partied that night. Stayed out so wait, night. so you recovered from the heart attack? Yeah, I went to the doctor <laughs> like two weeks later, and uh, I went yeah. to the doctor for like a, a, a checkup, and he goes, he's like, dude, you know that was like, you could have died. That was like a real heart attack. And I was like, well, he goes, he goes, and from the, had a checkup. from the x-rays, he goes, you've had like three or four. He goes, three that I can, you know, actually tell. You know, and I go, well, those were just mild heart palpitations. He goes, no, those were fucking, those were real like fucking, you know, you didn't have a seizure where your fucking mind went out. He goes, but you really had a thing because you know alcohol and cocaine are are like a poison that yeah. fucks your heart up, like marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Glad well, you go, said that. They yeah. go together very well. Yeah, very well for a short amount of time. But um, but yeah, so that was uh, that, that was an eye opener. Yeah. How's yeah. your heart now? Uh, I'm sure you have to monitor it. Well, I think the pack a day of cigarettes keeps it very level. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. You know, keeps it happy. But you know, Chase, are you going to con- continue with your cocaine problem now? I don't do cocaine. You do. You know, he's the mushroom king. I like mushrooms and weed, dude. I still like mushrooms as well. Somebody else told me they did cocaine with you, so I think there's been a force. I've done it three times, most my entire life. I can, I can. The last time I did it, I hit a, a key hit. I did that one thing, and then the other director guy. What's that? Who's the commercial director? director? The was first he, time. Is he the one that said I can make you into a star? Come into my house. Oh, hey, is, he, a, oh, is he the one? <laughs> you, 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 have a, you have a great buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I really like. But yeah, he's the one that he knew about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. You have a real look about you. People say I'm cheap. Come and take some drugs, okay? I could. You're I the, wish I was like the you're way you the, see me. You're the I'd only, be happy. You're the only forty-year-old man that I believe could still get molested. <laughs> <laughs> I was because of, <laughs> because of your childlike appearance. I can still see an adult taking advantage of you, where you were like, oh, "I don't know, there was candy involved." The guy had a puppy, and he said I could walk it for five dollars. You cry no matter what. You do cry a lot. When was the last time you cried? Uh, yesterday. Why did you what cry, did you cry about? about? I don't know. Was it a wake up and cry? Does he need a reason? <laughs> Did you wake up and cry? No. I don't know why I cried. I don't yeah. even know. Do you ever cry out of joy? Yeah. Really? Remember when I blew my eye out laughing? 
No. Nope. Because you, you said the theme song to my life was a rape whistle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I got right there. Everybody laughs so hard that he got a punctuation. I, I, I got teary eyed on the plane coming back. I watched that. What's that movie? The Clooney movie that won the Academy Award for oh, best. There. No, for best oh, the uh, descending play. The, the descendants. descendants. Yeah. It's the most depressing fucking film in the world. I th- although the, I although think the daughter was very fuckable. I yeah. will oh say that. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that true. little one, little, the 10-year-old? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not the 10-year-old. <laughs> oh. The ten, I, I the thought ten the artist was, like was a, boring. I can see why people like the artist, but I was a bit bored. I just wish they had like, put some words to yeah, it. Yeah, make it a talkie. Yeah. Because yeah. we've got all this technology now. Make the it a, make it a 3D talkie. Depressing as fuck, yeah. It's not like why would you want to put yourself through that for two hours? I sat there and just went, oh, I want to fucking at the end of it, the emergency. At the end, what well, it basically I don't know the story. Like, let's ruin it for people. What, what happens in the film? Uh, do you want the end? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love ruining movies for she people. She dies. They take her off. The what the daughter? Film. Not the daughter. She no, was hot. No, they they, they uh, his wife. Oh, is, thank God. His, he sleeps his with his daughter. He sleeps coma. with his daughter, and it kills his wife. Yeah, <laughs> in front of it. He fucks the like, trachea like hole the, on his. On bed. the edge of the bed, he fucking bends so over he, the edge of the bed, and he goes, "Take this, he honey." Sticks uh, his know. dick in the trachea hole. <laughs> yeah. and, and fucks his wife's throat because she wouldn't fuck. Did him. she get throat cancer? Did she? <laughs> Leak said it sounds like I wrote it. No, you're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the Armenian version. Everything that Eddie said, but in a fucking tiger skin rug. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the women all get Gold beat. Gold chains. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to end this episode because we're going to get on to uh, the next one. Uh, and I know you guys are all like, what the fuck? Keep going. We'll fucking just listen Thursday. Download Thursdays. Um, thanks for listening. Uh, Jim, where are you going to be this week? What? Is it this, this actual week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, here's. Oh, I'm going to be in Houston. And then on the twenty third, you're in Houston this week, like like this this, Thursday? this Friday, Thursday and Friday, I will be in Houston, Texas. I will also be at the Bagata Hotel in Atlantic City on the twenty third. So get tickets for that. Um, uh, in April, March thirtieth, I'll be at the Improv uh, Pittsburgh. Oh, have fun, my hometown. Um, do you have anything, Court, to plug? Paris Hotel. You moved to the Paris now. Yeah. Okay. Paris uh, is nice. Check it out. Uh, that's a that's a great show. They always have big headliners. Who's your headliner this week? Uh, oh, that guy. He's fucking awesome. Um, Bobby Lee. Yeah. Let's just say Bobby I, Lee. Fuck, who was this weekend? It was Mitch Fatel last week? Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Um, yeah, Come to the Paris Chris Hotel. Rock. Chris Rock's going to be headlining. A mm, um, little Asian guy. It shows his balls a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be... Uh, t- t- oh, this, is this airing tonight or... This is airing... Oh, right now. I'm going to be at um, uh, t- t- uh, Thursday night. I'll be in Breckenridge, Colorado, some theater. I don't know where it is. You'll find it. It's the only comedy show in Breckenridge. I'm there with Godfrey, Chris Fairbanks, and uh, Dan Levy. March 22nd to 24th. That's next week. I'm in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh, March 30th, I'm at San Francisco at the Comedy Cocktail for the Alice Morning Show. Uh, that's at Bimbo's 360. April 6th, I'm doing Flappers. Flappers in Burbank. I'm doing the set list. Paul Provenza's show. And April 7th, I'll be doing April Foolishness. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's all sold out. There's like 7,000 people going to be at that fucking thing. Uh, but I think you can still uh, scalp tickets. Uh, thanks for listening. Please donate. Go to our website, jimandeddytalkshit.com. Go to our Facebook page. Go to our YouTube page. Lalit, you posted a lot of new photos, right, on the yeah, website? Tons of new photos are going up right now. All right. Uh, thanks for listening. And uh, check us out Thursday. I think we're, we might still have quarter round. Thanks for coming. Oh, shit, yeah.